in problem C, you have recognized you have two radicals. So the first step is to isolate one radical, which is already done, and get rid of its radical by undoing it. Undo a square root by squaring both sides. That leaves you with 2x is equal to, and now this becomes a binomial square. So the pattern of this, you either need to write it out and foil it, or apply the pattern, which is the first term squared, leaving just x plus 1, plus twice the product of these bases. So root x plus 1 times 1 doubled is 2 root x plus 1. And we take our last base or last term here, plus 1, and square it. Plus 1 squared is 1. So we now solve the resulting equation. The resulting equation still has a radical in it. So we have to do those exact same steps. So we're going to move all the or going to isolate our radical. So we're going to subtract an x from both sides. At the same time, we can subtract 1 and 1 from both sides, so minus 2. And we're left with 2 root x plus 1. Now, when we go through to solve this, ideally we would divide by uh, whatever the multiplier is in front of the radical, but if it gives us a fraction, as in this case, we'll just leave it where it is. We've isolated our radical, so we can undo it by squaring both sides. Again, here we have this binomial square, so we will expand it out. First term squared, take the product of the terms and double it. x times negative 2 is negative 2x, double that is negative 4x. Negative 2 squared is plus 4. And then we're going to square both parts of this expression. 2 squared is 4. Root x plus 1 squared just becomes the expression inside. Once again, we then solve the resulting equation. The resulting equation is a quadratic equation. So we're going to distribute our 4. We've got 4x plus 4. Move all our terms to the same side. So we're going to subtract a 4x from both sides. We do x squared minus 8x, and we subtract a 4 from both sides, the constants cancel. And now we can solve this by factoring, remove a common factor of x, leaving x minus 8, all equal to 0. And so we get two possible solutions, 0 and positive 8. We want to check these back into the original form. So if we plug in a 0, the square root of 0, we want to see is that equal to square root of 0 plus 1 plus 1. And that one is extraneous, does not work. Plug in an 8. 2 times 8 is 16. We want to check and see, is the square root of 16 equal to the square root of 8 plus 1, 9 plus 1? 4 is equal to 3 plus 1, so 8 does work. And the second, the last problem here, D, we have this rational power. So to uh, solve this, we're going to isolate our, our expression with the rational power, which is already done. We're then going to undo it by taking the reciprocal power, which is 4 over 3 instead of 3 over 4. And now we solve. So the, the 3 fourths and 4 thirds cancel, leaving just the expression x plus 3. The denominator of 3 in a rational power means a cube root. So the cube root of 27 is 3. 3 to the fourth is 81. Subtract 3 from both sides, we get x is equal to 78. We want to check that and make sure it works. 78 plus 3 is 81. We want to see is 81 to the 3 fourths equal to 27. The fourth root of 81 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. So yes, it checks. Our solution would be 78.